We've been waiting, we've been waiting, we've been waiting. We don't have to wait anymore. Manchester United have officially announced the first signing for Eric Ten Hag. It is Tyrell Malasia. Welcome to Manchester United, Tyrell. The 22-year-old final left back becomes the first signing of the Eric Ten Hag era. And he will not be the last signing. What I'm going to do in this video is run through a few of the images. We'll have a little discussion and also run through the interview from Tyrell Malassia. Hear exactly what he had to say in his first interview as a Manchester United player. Also, what he said to the Dutch newspapers before he actually became a player. But look, make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe if you're new because we've been waiting a while, haven't we? So that's it. Tyrell, big smile on his face. Amazing smile. Look at that. Beaming smile. He's happy to be at Manchester United. I tell you what, Eric Ten Hag is happy too. But what has Tyrell said? Let's dive straight into the interview and see what the lad has had to say. He said, this is it's an incredible feeling to have joined Manchester United. The new chapter for me, a new league with new teammates and a tremendous manager in Eric Ten Hag leading us. Tremendous. His words, not mine. I know from playing against his teams in the Eredivisie, the qualities that he has and what he demands of his players. Whilst I know I'm still young and will continue to develop, I can promise the United fans that I will leave everything on the pitch every time I pull on the red shirt. I'll always be thankful to Feyenoord for all they've given me to, to me and my family. None of this would be possible if it wasn't for them. Now I'm ready to focus on my future and help my new club achieve success. I tell you what, I like the sound, I like the tone of that. Leaving everything on the pitch, there's a certain things that fans just always want. And certain things that United fans, let's be completely honest, that we haven't seen over the last couple of years. I like the tone of that. I really, really do. He speaks about Eric Ten Hag being the tremendous manager he is. The demands that he has. And he'll probably know more, more about Eric Ten Hag than most will. But I like that. I really like that. I, I'm just excited to see a signing, right? You're excited to see a signing. It's, it's nice to be able to look forward to the future. Rather than look backwards and, oh, who's going to replace Ronaldo and all the shit that's gone wrong at the club for so many years. We can actually put a smile on our face like Tyrell there and speak about what's coming next. Yeah, I like that. And he, as I said, that wasn't the only interview he had. If you go over here, this is from uh, Telegraph, the Telegraph out in Holland with Marcel van der Kran. I'm going to run through the quotes from this interview as well, because he gives a little bit more detail and a little bit more insight into why he chose United and everything behind it. Let me run through these quotes for you as well. Then it's jumped straight into this one. Um, he said this, he goes, I always followed Manchester United because of Robin Van Persie and he played there as a final player. That's why I got an extra feeling. In the youth of final, we played a youth tournament at Manchester United and I said, you know what? One day I'm going to come back here. That's now come true and that is, of course, wonderful. <laughs> yeah, I like that idea. But look at that. He's off. Robin Van Persie, man. What a perfect person. What a perfect person to speak to, to about. Manchester United. I completely messed that sentence. What a perfect person to speak to Manchester United. What a perfect person to speak to Tyrell Malassia about Manchester United. We got there in the end. Jeez, I lost my English there. But I can't wait to see a bit of that. I can't wait to see Eric Ten Hag coaching these players. And that's a big, big thing that the Malassia goes on to speak about here as well. He said, I've only just come to this level, so I've yet to show it all. But I want to reach the highest level and go for it. And I think I can do it. He backs himself. Of course, he backs himself. Anybody who's worked with um, Tyrell Malasia so far in his young career has always pointed towards hard work ethic, really hard work ethic, training with the first team five days a week and also doing three personal training sessions on top of that to make himself that little bit better. And how he speaks, he's like, he's happy to be at Manchester United, but he's kind of like, yeah, I deserve it. This is a product of my hard work. And that's, that's about uh, self-awareness. doesn't mean you're an arrogant, egotistical individual. It means that you know full well that the position you've worked yourself into isn't down to luck. It's down to your own hard work to open doors for yourself. So fair play to him. He's put in the hard yards. He's put in the shift. Ten Hag recognised that and he's brought that attitude to Manchester United. Going in a bit more detail down here, he speaks about Ten Hag here. He said, Mr. Ten Hag is a very good trainer and also a warm person. I had a good conversation with him and I have a very good feeling with him. That's important because if all goes well, we'll work together for years. And I'm looking forward to that because I think I can learn a lot from him. He makes players who want to work hard better. 
And that's something that I think all United fans, certainly me, and I'm sure you do too, I just can't wait to see what Eric Ten Hag can do as a coach. Properly a coach. Calvin Phillips spoke about it when he just joined um, Man City. He said, look, I, I couldn't turn down the chance and the opportunity to work with Pep Guardiola. He wants the experience of being coached by Pep Guardiola. And, and look, Tyron Malasia, he wants the experience and the opportunity to work and be coached by Eric Ten Hag. Now, that's the sort of pull I don't think Manchester United have had for a long time. Probably back to Fergie. I mean, you could say that some players wanted to join under Louis van Gaal. Maybe I'm being slightly unfair. Some sort of pull there, but not, not the same sort of pull as Ten Hag. Mourinho, he would have had his own pull for sure. But that's... Uh, Mourinho would have had a pull. Who am I kidding? Solskjaer, he wouldn't have had a pull unless it was a sort of emotional response. But Eric Ten Hag is a coach, a renowned coach who makes players better versions of themselves after joining the club. And we haven't had that for a long time, have we? We haven't really had players that we've signed that have gone on to improve at Manchester United. We've had some, but we haven't had loads. And hopefully, Tyrell Malasia can be the next one of those. Eric Ten Hag has got his first man through the door and it cannot be the last man. There's still so much to do this summer. But as Tyrell speaks about in, the, in these comments here, he's happy to have joined. Let's, let's have, to have a quick look here at what uh, John Murto said about the signing as well. He said Tyrell is an exciting, dynamic young footballer with an excellent experience for his age, including five seasons in the Eredivisie and a European final, Europa <laughs> Conference League, uh, and full international honours for the Netherlands. We look forward to seeing him continue to develop under the guidance of Ten Hag and the coaching team for years to come. Everyone at United welcomes him to the club. And Eric Ten Hag will welcome him to the club because he, he's got to change the approach, the attitude, the mentality of all these United players. And all these new signings who come in, they will be Ten Hag's new signings. It will take him two to three seasons worth of transfer windows to fully develop his own squad. But player by player, piece by piece, the attitude that previously existed will just get chipped away chipped away and Tyrell Malassia is going to be the first new signing who brings that new approach in. Ten Hag trusts him to employ the same ethic, work rate and attitude that he wants all of his Manchester United players to have. The same sort of work ethic that he is going to have on the training pitch. The same work ethic that he wants everybody to have on that training pitch. Eric Ten Hag will set that example. Now that's got to be the most exciting change of all. It really is. It really, really is. Because I know that this squad was crap last year. But with the right coach, this squad of players should be far better. Even without new signings. Even without... Like Eric, with Eric Ten Hag there on his own, these players will be better. But when you start feeding in new signings like Tyrell Malasia, with a big smile on his face, Eric Ten Hag will be delighted with it. And you can tell... He didn't say it was his dream club. Fine. <laughs> Everybody says it's his dream club. Let's be honest. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. I'm just happy that one's over the line. And I'm hoping that this is going to be the week of dominoes. The week where we see Christian Eriksen following suit. The week where we see Lissandro Martinez follow suit. That will be a big one. That I think that will be a really significant one. Tyrell Malasia was an opportunity that Manchester United took advantage of. 17 million euros. It's not a game-changing signing. But it's the beginnings of the shift. The Dutch Revolution starts at Manchester United. Do you play in the Eredivisie? Yes. Do you have a link to Ajax? Yes. If you answer yes to one of these two questions, we might sign you this summer. All jokes aside, Man United do not have a scouting department. I've said this a few times on the live stream. Who is Eric Ten Hag going to trust to make his own signings? Himself. What he's seen with his own eyes and what he knows from his experience as a manager. And that means we're looking towards the Eredivisie. We're looking towards players like Tyrell Malasia or players from Ajax who Ten Hag know will be able to play his system. But done and dusted. The first man is over the line. I'll be interested to see the photos and the videos that come out from training. How excited are you about the idea of Malasia coming in? Luke Shaw, pull your socks up, son, or you're going to get kicked out of that first team because someone else is here, ready and hungry to take your place in that team. As he says in his first interview here, he said, look, Whilst I know I'm young and I'm still continuing to develop, I can promise the United fans I will leave everything on the pitch every time I pull on the red shirt. He's here to fight. He's here to take his chances. And he's here as a Manchester United player. How excited are you? You let me know in the comments below. But welcome to Manchester United, Tyrell. 
I like those first interviews. And with that sort of right attitude and that sort of right coaching, I'm excited to see what he can develop into at Manchester United. But welcome, Tyrell. Nice to have you at United. Go on, Spurs!